Hi, I'm Michael from AES, and this is the Praetorian Guard. So I'm going to show you how you to connect your app on your phone, your Praetorian Guard app, to your actual Praetorian Guard intercom. So the Praetorian comes in many different shapes and sizes. This version is the modular version. You have the ABK, pedestal, so on. We have loads and loads of different variations of this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is unscrew the little safety screws at the top. There's, on this version, there's two at the top and there's a wee hinge bottom. So the next thing you want to do is actually download the Praetorian Guard app on your phone. Okay, you'll see that there's nothing on the app right now. Um, we are going to open up the intercom. And here there's a, a code button. So press and hold that for a couple of seconds and there'll be a beep or tone, which means it's now set up a, a local Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, we're gonna connect the app to that, all right? So we're gonna connect our actual phone to the Wi-Fi network that that's just created. All right, for initial setup, you want your phone to be within three or four feet of the actual unit itself so that your phone can pick up the Wi-Fi network that the unit's actually broadcasting out. Um, this might look a little different on yours, but ours is down as AES. I think um, homeowner ones will be Bell dash something. So we just connect to this now, and our standard uh, default passcode will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll connect. This may look slightly different on your phone, but it's pretty much the same process. Okay, so I'll go to the Praetorian Guard app, open that, and we should be connected to the unit. Oh, sorry, we will be connected to the unit. We're gonna go into the little cog here at the top right. We are going to go to the add symbol on the top right. And we're gonna go search intercom ID and LAN. So now our phone is going to be paired to the unit itself. And we just click add. Um, it gives you the intercom ID there that fills it out. Your username's that, your default password. You can change this to a later date, so one through nine. And we're gonna save. So, now we go back to our home screen. Our phone is connected. There we go. Excuse the messy office. So now our phone is connected to the intercom through the intercom's Wi-Fi itself. So what we need to do now is get the intercom itself connected onto the Wi-Fi of the homeowner or the user. And how we do that is we go back into the app, go into the top, a little cog here at the top, go down to the Wi-Fi symbol. And we're gonna choose that intercom because you could have multiple intercoms in the one app. And we're just gonna go searching for Wi-Fi info. This might take a wee few seconds, depending on your phone and how many networks are around. So we're gonna find what one you would find, obviously your customer's Wi-Fi or your home one. We're gonna go AES work. I'm gonna hide the password. So you'll see now that the intercom's actually going to connect. It's actually going to reboot itself. It might take a minute. Close down your apps, give it a minute, and then restart again. So we say around 60 seconds to let the intercom reboot itself and connect to the Wi-Fi. So now that we've let the intercom reboot and connect to the Wi-Fi network, we're gonna open up the app again. And we'll see that intercom one is online. Click in, there's our messy office, happy days. Our live feed and conversation. And just press the call button. And you'll see. You can hear the relay click. And that's us. So that is connecting your mobile app to your Praetorian Guard. Um, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you would like to subscribe, please do. If you would like to like the video, please do.
Anything else, any suggestions for other videos to do, give us a shout. Uh, leave it in the comments below and we'll get to it. Thanks.